I'm taking notes on this because Lauren teased it. I'm very psyched about this, Lauren, because you talked about cleaning crevices, and I've got some filthy crevices. Gets into crevices. So what can I do? <laughs> crevices. To get out that grime and the make crevices. it shine. Huh? Yeah. In this household, <laughs> oh, are unacceptable. Yeah. That, that is a crevice. That's I a dirty want crevice. Any part of it. <laughs> I want no part of that crevice. <laughs> so, yes, it is time <laughs> to hurt the dirt. That is what we're hurt doing this morning. Hurt the dirt. Yeah. Shine because spring cleaning is <laughs> almost time for it, baby. That's what we're talking about. We're getting an early head start this morning. Mm -hmm. And, Jordan, you're walking me through. I am. So, you know, we, we'll do our service cleans. Things will look pretty nice. All right, great. Yes. Well, spring cleaning, though. We're getting deep. We're getting in there. We are getting in there, which yes. involves a lot of cracks and crevices. Yes. You're going to find them everywhere. Indeed. Well, one of the ways to kind of get your uh, cleaning tools in there, if you have your rag, you want to do just a single layer. Secret weapon right here. And for those really tight crevices, we've got a putty knife. Yes. You want to have a damp rag. Because you don't want to scrape anything. You don't want to scrape anything because it will scrape. So yes. you want to do a damp rag. Right. Wrap it around there, and you can really get that corner oh into some boy. of this grime. I see it. Oh, there you look go. at that grime. That's disgusting. <laughs> but we're taking care of it, right? We are taking because, care of it. As we said earlier, it's not just important to have like a clean house. It's also important for your health. You want to make sure that you're not getting sick, right? Right, yep. And I mean, all this is kind of buildup of grease, things of that nature. You don't want that to get back into your food and somehow. Right. So go ahead and get that all cleaned up. You've got these little guys here. Pop them off. Hot tip. Yep, hot tip. I recently just learned. All of these will come off. Very cool. Um, you may have to work at it, but look underneath. You've got a whole bunch of grease and grime down here you sure. can also take care of while you're at it. Did uh, Now, do you have any tips for people that have maybe the stoves that have the pans in them to keep those pans clean? Do you recommend wrapping them in tin foil? I've seen a lot of people do that. Um, they can do that. Um, once you scrub it, though, definitely, you know, use that Adobe pad. It gets into that. Yes. Um, clean it. Make sure you're cleaning underneath those, yeah. however. They can pop up. Get under them, too. A lot of food falls down. Right. I love it. all the tips we've gotten today. We've used toothbrushes. We've used putty knives. We've used the squeegee things. The squeegee, yes. All the hot tips. Scrub a dub dub mm -hmm. and tell everybody real quick, if they don't want to clean, they just want to have you or another professional come out and do it. Yes. How can they get a hold of you? We would love to you know, we would love to serve you. Um, you can definitely call us um, at Made to Shine's office. You'll speak to some lovely ladies there, and they will help you out with your needs. Or you can go to madetoshinecleaners.com, and there you can uh, fill out a form, and they'll get to back go. to you. Hmm. She's coming for your cracks and crevices, Craig. Okay? <laughs> they're so they're, they're, they're nasty. It all. With the <laughs> That's what you need. In a damp rag. Yeah. Hold on tight. So, hey, we have, we have a question. We're debating this in the studio. Her house must be immaculate. Is she this clean at home? She, you, we talked about that. You are this clean at home. Yeah. yeah. You know what? <laughs> Practice what you preach. Practice what you preach. Okay? okay? All right. Thanks, Thanks. Lauren. Man, I need, I need right them there. to come clean.